Well, we've been doing this whole series of evergreens here at Springhouse Gardens with Richard Weber talking about all the different types of evergreens that are available because it is winter and mm -hmm. well, when we think winter, we think evergreens. We talked about the white pine, we talked about the dwarf species and now here is another pine, well not pine, um, Arborvitae. Arborvitae that is been named the Green Giant. Now don't let this baby confuse you. <laughs> we haven't been mistaken, but this is what you would see maybe at a nursery. But the beauty of coming out to Springhouse Gardens is that you see that even though this is what you might take home with you, in a couple of years you might truly have a Green Giant of your own. And I, Richard, love this. I actually think this is probably something that's going to have to go on my year, my lawn. This is probably the number one most popular evergreen plant that we sell here. Um, it's a fairly new introduction. I mean, it's been in the nursery trade for maybe 15 years or so. Uh, people grew up with other types of arborvitaes, but this one is actually a western arborvitae okay. or western red cedar. Yeah, because it does have a little red tinge to mm -hmm. it. Just like right on the ends. But it's um, it's a Thuya Placata, Green Giant. Um, this one's been in our uh, display gardens here for about six years and it was probably uh, seven feet tall when we planted it. Wow. So this is one of those evergreens that you can expect once it gets its roots established, uh, three to four foot of growth a year. Uh, and this is another one that's better for more contained landscapes. We were talking about the white pines really need a lot of room to spread. Yeah. These guys are only going to spread maybe 10 to 12 feet wide at mm -hmm. the base, uh, and then they shoot straight up, uh, almost like you know, like a, an exclamation point. Right. They, they slowly fill out so that all the way up it'll be nice and wide, but it takes them a long time before that 10 to 12 feet wide gets all the way to the top. You know, I'm looking at this, and, <clears throat> and when you see this in a nursery, it just really doesn't give you the whole story of what you're going to have in many years, because you look at this and it looks kind of compact and straightforward, right. and this just looks beautiful. I love the fact that the foliage and everything is just, it's really full. Yeah, it's very nice and full, has a great mm -hmm. fragrance to it, great for uh, using for cut, cut greens, Christmas wreaths, things like mm -hmm. that. Um, and it is uh, very low maintenance. You do have to watch out with any of the evergreens, you do have to watch for uh, bagworms. Uh, I'm, yeah, bagworms. I'm just gonna say tent caterpillars, but bagworms, which are the little mm -hmm. caterpillars that hang from the ends of the branches. So you do have to watch. Oh. Uh, a green giant is not quite as susceptible as other types of arborvitaes, uh, but you still need to kind of be aware of that. Uh, and these are more resistant to deer than the other mm -hmm. arborvitaes. So you might look into the green giant if you need a fast growing, fairly narrow screen. All right, well, let's definitely tell them how to get out here. I know we're going to talk a little bit more here later in the show about another evergreen that's a possibility that maybe you could put in your yard. Yeah. But in the meantime, we're at 185 West Catnip Hill Road, which is just four miles out Harrodsburg Road from Manowar Boulevard. Look us up online at springhousegardens.com or give us a call at 224-1417. And remember, the green giant. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs>